hello friends welcome to my another video tutorial on machine learning and in this particular video i am going to discuss linear regression uh, in which the dependent variable depends on multiple independent variable okay so in this particular scenario the matrix representation looks like this in internet or in youtube you can find multiple videos where this particular matrix representation of uh, linear regression which is uh, of multiple variables is explained in detail okay you can check there i am not discussing that particular how this particular matrix representation came but rather what i am going to discuss i am going to show you how you can compute this particular linear regression with multiple variable in matlab using this particular matrix representation okay so here this x11 x2 dot dot xn1 is particularly one independent variable values okay x1 to x2 to up to xn2 this particular column is another independent set of values okay uh, x1 k x2 k up to x n k this particular column is another independent variable set of values okay and all uh, and all these affecting the value of this particular y1 y2 up to y n okay here particular the original expression is this one where y equal to x into beta plus some error where y is represented as this particular column matrix x is represented as this particular rectangular matrix and beta values are one, also one column matrix which are basically uh, coefficients so beta not beta 1 up to beta k so any particular uh, equation can be that is any particular y value is like this y1 equal to beta not plus x11 into beta 1 plus x21 sorry x12 this will be x12 sorry x12 into beta 2 right and like that it will go on and some particular error value here we are assuming e1 because this is y1 okay so this kind of equation we are getting but in the least square regression model as you know that we neglect uh, we have to minimize the error as much as possible so for computing the coefficients that is beta not beta 1 up to beta k we are neglecting the error part okay so our particular interest is y is equal to x into beta where y is 1 this particular column matrix beta is also one column matrix and x is this particular rectangular matrix now we have to compute coefficients beta not beta 1 up to beta k how we can compute that see simple matlab code clc clear all close all obviously you have to write if you want you can write a warning of also then x1 and x2 these are two different uh, variables independent variables okay and these are the data points 3 5 6 8 12 14 are x1 16 10 7 4 3 2 are different data points of x2 uh, independent variable and y which is the dependent variable is 90 72 54, 42, 30, 12. Okay. So basically, we can say this particular 90 value we are getting like this 3 into some coefficient plus 16 into some, some coefficient plus some particular constant plus some particular error. Okay. Like that we are getting. Right. So basically, now see as you can see in the matrix itself, here in the first column, only ones are present. So we have to make the matrix. That is original x matrix by taking the first column whole once only. So I am taking n equal to length of x1 because see, observe it carefully that the one number of ones is equal to number that is length of the particular column of any independent variable, whether you consider x1 or x2 like that. So basically, I have calculated what is the length of the one independent variable, and that that many number of ones will come here. Okay. So basically n equal to length of x1 and a equal to once n comma 1. Okay. So like see once 3 comma 1. 3 rows of 1s will be created 1 1 1 and 1 particular column. So n comma 1 means this particular set of 1s will be created. Alright. And then x1 we have to put that is first independent variable. So x1 transpose. We are doing column. Uh, we are 
basically appending columns okay so transpose we have to take because it is row but we have to take column wise so x1 transpose and this one x2 transpose all right and now what we have to do to solve this particular set of equation y equal to x into beta as i have told you already we are neglecting the error so y is equal to x into beta we have to calculate beta so what we can do see very simple class in the class 12 in the matrix course itself in mathematics we have studied y equal to x into beta means uh, the solution of beta will be uh, we have to multiply x inverse in the both side so we will get x inverse x beta x inverse x is identity matrix so that here we will get beta and here we will get x inverse y so this is our original equation x inverse y equal to beta all right now the funda is that you know inverse uh, does not exist always for all the matrix so you have to take care of this particular x inverse right so to avoid this particular uh, problem that inverse does not exist all uh, exist always so what we will do we will take pseudo inverse okay pseudo inverse is always computing some inverse but that is pseudo not original okay so p i n v is the uh, command in matlab built in command to compute pseudo inverse so pseudo inverse into y transpose okay because y is our row matrix but we have to take as uh, column matrix right see here y is basically column okay so p i n v a a is the matrix which we created here using the independent variables and padding one extra column which is having all the elements as one in the beginning into y transpose okay that's all so let me do control a and evaluate selection okay job is done write c and enter so what will be our expression our this particular code expression is y equal to 61.4 plus uh, minus 3 so actually this will be minus 3.6462 into x1 there is first independent variable plus 2.5385 into x2 okay so this is our expression how the dependent variable y depends on two independent variable x1 and x2 okay i hope you have understood this concept this is all for my this video i am going to post the same code in the description of my this video if you want you can check that thank you for watching